Hi friends, we're back today for our final day, day four, to check on our flowers and see how the colors are changing. So here's what we have. Remember they were sitting in all the different colors? And let's see. Ooh. This one here was in the purple. And you can really see up on the tips. It's a lot different. Even if you flip it over onto the bottom, you can see it. And even yellow. The yellow. And yellow is not really very dark. But you can see it changed a lot, the one that was in the yellow. All on the tips there. Let's see. You want to look at a green one? Here's one that was in green. And again, you can see it's changed a whole bunch right up on the tips. A lot of color there. Let's see. Even the red. The red ones didn't change a whole lot. But you can see just a very little bit. The ones that were in red. What didn't we look at yet? Oh, blue. Here's a blue one. Oh, look how much wound up right there. Wow. And you guys figured out how it did it, right? We know how they did that. Because they were sitting in the glass of water. And the water traveled all the way up the stem. All the way up to the tip of the flower to get it some water. And because the water had color in it, it took the color all the way up. You can even do this at home. And here's a bonus. What do you think were to happen if we used yellow flowers? Yellow flowers and maybe put some blue water in the yellow flowers. What do you think would happen to the flowers if they were yellow to start with and we gave them blue water? What color do you think they would turn into? Yellow flowers and blue water. What do you think it might be? I don't know. What if we did yellow flowers and red water? Then what color do you think it would turn into? Hmm. That would be a fun one to try on your own sometime. Keep thinking, what do we know about when colors mix together? And I bet you could figure it out. Maybe you can try it on your own sometime. Hope you enjoyed watching them change. See you next time. Bye.